Hi, my name is David Chan. I've been an artist for 15 years. The work that uh, was featured was actually an interesting collaboration between me and my friend. The original artwork is actually a sculpture that was on the Singapore Art Museum lawn. It was commissioned as an artwork for SG50. The sculpture was created, um, we just thought it was a nice thing to document as a site project. However, um, when we were approached for this uh, touch exhibition, we realised that this was really the fantastic form for us to really uh, allow viewers or those who were visually handicapped to actually experience. Because there were limitations to what the software was able to do and what we were able to achieve with our own uh, rudimentary equipment, the limitations uh, allow us to find new solutions to how to adapt with 3D, 3D printing as well. So in this case, uh, what was the adaptations for things like making things smoother so that they were safer for, for people to handle, which so happened that because we had some limitation to scanning itself, so it became a nice transition that actually allowed the artwork to become safer and also a lot more efficient in terms of printing. When we were to downscale a huge sculpture, was also whether does it still retain that kind of interesting element such as the uh, how the outer structure, can you still feel it even though you may not be able to see it? Can you still feel specific things like legs, faces, the tail? Would it still be meaningful to the person who actually uh, feel it? In context to the original story, which was about uh, San Nina Utama discovering Singapore as an island for the first time. When we created that outcome, what I was keen to present was to first create an uh, object of curiosity. So it's more like, uh, if you feel it, what would it be? How would it invert your understanding of what a creature would be or what an animal would be? So my whole idea of how the storyline would be presented became a little bit of a reverse engineer because you've, now you are able to touch it but for the original sculpture, you weren't encouraged to touch it. But for this one, you are encouraged to touch it. So from there, then how would you create the story, the curiosity, and that will fulfill the final narrative of the artwork itself.